is chapter 1, programming exercise 12, average speed in kilometers. So for this, we're going to assume that a runner runs 24 miles in 1 hour, 40 minutes and 35 seconds. Write a program that displays the average speed in kilometers per hour. Note, 1 mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers. So how are we going to do this? How are we going to solve it, right? So our task here is to find the average speed in kilometer per hour but we're given distance in miles. So first, what we gotta do is we have to convert the miles to kilometer. Second, we have to divide the overtime by an hour. Next, and finally, we use the converted miles and divide it by the calculated over, overall time per hour. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to convert the miles to kilometer. And that's pretty easy because we're given that uh, one mile is 1.6 kilometers and we're given 24 miles. So therefore, to calculate the total kilometer, it is 24 miles times 1.6 kilometers. And that will give us the total kilometers. Next, we're going to have to convert the given time to an hourly time. So we know that the runner run, ran one hour, 40 minutes and 35 seconds in that amount of distance. But we can't use this time the way it is given to us now to calculate the kilometers per hour because it's not exactly an hour. It is an hour and a fraction of it. Well, up to two hours. So what can we do? So what, can, what we can do is break down the time and divide it an hour to get the correct number. So we know that for the total hour to seconds is 60 times 60 because there's 60 minutes uh, in an hour, uh, sorry, yeah, 60 minutes in an hour. Um, and to calculate the total minutes to seconds, there is, uh, we will grab the 40 minutes and we'll multiply it by 60. So actually where, what, what am I doing right here is we're taking that one hour and we're breaking it down to seconds. We're taking this 40 minutes and we're breaking it down to seconds. And then we'll add the remaining with the 35 seconds. So the total amount of seconds is basically uh, the total seconds from the hour, total seconds from a minute, plus 35 seconds. And we get total seconds, and we're going to divide that by 60 minutes times 60 seconds. And finally, we take those two given uh, values that we have, and we will be able to find the average kilometer per hour, right? So now that we have figured out the total kilometer and, to uh, and converted the total runner time to be usable for division by hour, we can calculate the runner's average kilometer per hour. All right, so let's tackle that in an exercise. So let's see. So the first thing we're gonna to want to do is to calculate the convert the miles to kilometers. So let's see, we have 24 miles time 1.6 kilometers. So we're going to write something like this, system.out.prints line. We're going to write miles to kilometers is kilometers is. So we know that the runner ran 24 miles, but we want it in kilometers. So it's 24 times 1.6. All right. run it let's see what we get uh, we get that uh, the total uh, kilometers is 38.4 all right so next thing we want to do is calculate the time so let's, let's write system dot out dot print line uh, number of hours is or hours in fraction. Basically, we're going to grab this 40 minutes and 35 seconds and one hour combine all that, which is, let's see. So one hour is basically 60 minutes. 60 minutes, the amount of seconds in 60 minute is 60 times 60. I'm gonna add that with um, 40 minutes 
And to break that into seconds is 40 times 60 seconds. And we're going to add 35 remaining seconds to it. And after all that, we, we are going to uh, divide the whole thing in divide the whole thing by 60. 60 minutes times 60 seconds. All right, so let's take a look and see. Um, and we should use decimals, right? Or else we'll not get the correct value. 1.676. So we're going to take this number and we're going to divide 38 divided by 1.676. All right. System dot out print line. And just remember, uh, you could put your de uh, decimal or uh, precision number anywhere in any of these and the whole thing will be calculated with precision. If you don't do it, it'll, output will be an integer. So that's pretty important to remember. So finally, we'll calculate the runner ran, uh, let's see. X amount per hour. How many was it in uh, kilometers per hour? Right, so we take this number right here and we're going to divide by this number right here and we'll finally get our answer. And our an uh, let's me just space that out so I get a nicer number. And now our answer is the runner ran 22.9 kilometers per hour. Wow, that's fast. It's pretty fast, right? And that is how we solve for kilometers per hour for this exercise. So that'll be it for this programming exercise.